Yes. Hey up. I'm back. I know I didn't expect to be back here either, uh, but I am. Am I completely cured? No, but I'm definitely better. Um, by the way, I hit 45 and my eyesight just went within two weeks. Has that happened to anybody else? Yeah, so if you didn't know, I ended up getting some kind of weird chronic fatigue absolutely kicked my ass for months and months and months um i really changed my lifestyle and i'm glad to say that up until a couple of days ago i've been pretty much symptom free um completely completely different to where i was just a couple of months ago at christmas time like i couldn't even have a long conversation the idea of doing this just would not have worked i had to pull everything back including my fitness and i genuinely thought i would never run again genuinely thought that uh, I did a post on here where I was like I say what now what am I going to do I started a different channel where I was I was going to be taking life easy and all that kind of stuff and anyway it's changed now why I'm doing this video is because I've got a big event coming up in July when I started suffering with this chronic fatigue which I'm going to talk about in a little bit and how I've kind of eradicated it pretty much how I've reduced it, pretty much, let's say. I've had loads of events in the diary and I cancelled everything, like I said, apart from one, and that's this. It's the Veterans Speed March Challenge that we're doing in July. In essence, a team of veterans, former Royal Marines, we aim to set the fastest marathon time carrying 40 pounds and wearing military kit. We're all over 40, maybe even 45. I think I might just squeeze in on that. And... That's the challenge. Why did I keep that in? Well, one, it, right at the start, it captured my imagination. Uh, it wasn't a typical ultra run in the desert or the jungle. It was something different. Marathon distance. It's a tough distance, let's face it. It's the right team. Some incredible people. It's an absolute privilege to be part of it and to, to run with these people. I wanted to be part of a team. Some of the stuff that I've done recently, I've done it all solo. And whilst that was right at that moment in time, now I'm kind of missing like a team feel like a team like the connection of a team and working together as a team so that was right it's in the right place so it's going to be held in london um it's the right time this time in my life uh it's just and it's a great cause you know we set out to generate twenty five thousand pounds worth of funds for for two incredible charities so, so we've doubled that and we're already well on our way to sixty thousand pounds and i think we're going to be hitting the six figures by the time the event comes around so that's why I've kept it in. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing little insights into that challenge, as well as other running videos from my uh, from my training. And I'll give you insights into the way that I'm going to pack the kit, what kit I'm going to be using. I'm going for specialist fitting for a, a certain type of, of boot, so I'll take you along for that. I'm going to go through some of the mindset stuff that I'll be working on in order to to, to create the belief that I could do this. I'll be working through the actual nuts and bolts of my training, um, looking at the nutrition. It's in July, so it's going to be hot and hydration is going to be massive. So I'm going to be sharing all of this and a lot more in these regular updates. I'm going to keep them pretty basic like this because you don't need lots of fandangled editing because all that's going to do is stop me putting out videos and i'm hoping that what's coming out of my mouth is much more valuable and entertaining than a few emojis and memes and all that kind of stuff okay so i can just pump out the videos and make sure uh, you get to keep you updated and i can be consistent so that's it for the challenge real quick announcement just going back to the chronic fatigue some of you may be interested in how i've kind of overcome that and and sort of reduce that to a point in which i can run again uh, i am running regularly now i i'm probably running four days out of every seven i'm going to step it up again next week start increasing the distance it's not particularly fast okay but i'm doing all right i'm progressing and i know i can get myself ready for july even though it's going to be carrying 40 pounds as well i'm not going to go too much into this into how i've done that um, but what i will say is that I had a load of different tests from the medical world, from private stuff online, and everything pretty much come back fine. Like, like in, re in a really good state, you know, I'm fit and I'm healthy, yet I was absolutely flat packed at times. So depressed that I was ready to string myself up, literally, and couldn't find any joy in anything. You know, I, I, even a long conversation just wiped me out. I could barely walk the dog. It was just ridiculous, and I, I genuinely thought I would never run again. And I was sent a little video from a friend, okay? And, and in this video, they talked about this certain illness that's been kicking around for a few years, and how it can affect the body, okay? And the fact that 
the the treatment and the effects of this virus can cause these fatigue-like symptoms, okay? And I definitely experienced that where there was a point before a certain disease was kicking about where I was fine and I was doing great and I was running ultra marathons in the Arctic and the jungle and all this kind of thing. And then fast forward a couple of years and I've had a load of bouts of this illness and and I was just I was just a shell of who I was before. So anyway, I followed the protocol in this video. I gave like a protocol of different supplements that you can take to help clear out some of the crap left in the body. A lot of these supplements you can just get over the counter. It's like quite phenomenal really. And they cost next to nothing. And I absolutely hammered those. I was pretty consistent with it. I think I missed like two days in total. All right. And, and I think that plus some lifestyle changes, plus cutting out you know, all the other events that I'd lined up just got me to a stage where I was like, you know what? I, I think I can start running again. So the race is on. I've got a big, literal finish line in July that I need to get to. And, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. Now, in, some of you may be interested in that protocol. I'm not going to share it on YouTube because I'm pretty sure it'd get taken down. Um, however, if this fatigue is something that you've suffered with yourself, I'm more than happy to have a private conversation about it and, uh, and I'll tell you what I did. Uh, or I can film a different video on it and then just not put it on YouTube. So I'll put it somewhere else. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Uh, and as well as that, if there's anything you want to know about the training, the mindset, or anything at all, okay, stick it in the comments, and that'll help steer my videos into things that you want to see. So I'm back. Really happy to be back. I haven't been off YouTube. I've actually been pumping out more videos over YouTube than, than ever before through my business and other hobbies and what have you. I'm doing about four videos a week, which is one of the reasons why I want to keep this pretty simple and pretty basic. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do to get the updates and I'll see you. By the way, if you want to know a little bit more about the symptoms and where I was a couple of months ago, you can check out this video where I talk about it a little bit more in depth.